hello students welcome to my channel engineers academy let's solve uh, this particular problem from frames in machine topic so in this problem it is said that compute the force in link ab of the lifting tongs which carry, which uh, cross without touching right so uh, we need to find the force in this link ab right so to start the analysis uh, what i will do is that i will consider this uh, joint e for equilibrium right so if we consider this joint e so first if we consider uh, this whole mechanism this whole tongs right so the weight of this crate is supported by this rope right so this means that the tension in this rope will be equal to the weight of uh, this crate which is 400 times 9.81 so 400 times uh, 9.81 is uh, 30 3924 right so the tension in this cable will be 3924 that will be equal to the weight of uh, this crate right so if i consider that uh, joint e here right so we will have that uh, tension in the cable which will be acting vertically upward and this is this will be equal to 3924 uh, newton right and uh, here we will have that uh, C E member force which will be acting in this direction. So let me try it here. This is that C E member force, and similarly we will have this D E member force which will be acting in this direction, right? So this is the D E. So if we if we find this angle, right? So let me find this angle theta, right? Since the system uh, this mechanism is symmetrical about the y axis are if i draw a line here right so this whole mechanism is symmetrical about this line right so this means that if this is theta then this is also theta as well so we have to find this theta so if i find this theta so we can find this theta by using this triangle so we can apply tan theta so tan theta will be equal to the perpendicular so the perpendicular is 360 mm so this is 360 and the base is uh, 540 so we can find this theta by taking 10 inverse right so 10 inverse 360 divided by 540 so this theta is 33.69 so i can say that theta is 33.69 degrees right so we can say that this ce and this de they are making that same angle theta here and it is also making that same theta here as well right so now if we uh, resolve this ce and de into its components so they will have one component will be acting in this direction they will have one component like this and these two components like this right and this is that joint e so now if we uh, apply the summation of the forces along x axis is equals to zero so this component is de cos of theta so i will write that this is de cos of theta which is acting in the positive x direction and uh, this cos component of ce is acting in the negative x direction so i will write minus ce cos of theta equals to zero and if we divide this whole equation by cos of theta so we will be left with de minus ce or we can say that de is equal to ce right and if we apply the summation of forces along uh, y equals to 0 so this ce is equal to de remember right so now as we can see that uh, uh, this component of de is acting in the negative y direction this is the sine component so i will write de sine of theta and that theta is 33.69 so i can say that this is 33.69 degrees and similarly uh, this is ce sine of uh, theta and c is equal to de so we can say that uh, this is this is also acting in the negative y direction this is also acting in the negative y direction so i can write that this is also de uh, sine of 33.69 degrees or we can say that this is uh, minus 2 times de sine of that theta right and this uh, tension in the cable is acting vertically upwards so we can say that this is plus uh, 3 9 2 4 and this is equal to 0 or if we bring this to the other side of equation so this will become uh, minus right this minus will cancel out 
so we can find de from this equation right so uh, de will be equal to 39.24 divided by 2 sine of 33.69 degrees right so this de is uh, 3537 newtons right so i can write that this de is 3537 newtons now if we consider this uh, def part of this mechanism right so what will happen is that this de member will apply that same de force uh, but in the opposite direction right so this de member will apply the force in this direction so let me represent that force here so this this d member will apply that same force but in this direction right so we can represent this force at this point d here we have that point d and this is the de force right so let me write this as de force so this de force will have two components right so it will have one component like this so this one will be let's say dx and it will have one component will be acting in the positive y direction so this is dy and uh, it will be making that same theta if this angle is theta then this angle is also theta these angles are alternate angles right so we can say that this is that same theta right so we can say that this dx is the cost component of de and de is uh, 3537 so 3537 cause of uh, 33.69 uh, so this is 2943 so we can say that dx is uh, 2943 newtons and similarly uh, dy is de sine of that theta so which is equal to 1962 right so let me find it right so th this is uh, 3537 sine of so this is 1962 right so this dy is equal to 1962 newtons right so i have replaced this de by its component so let me remove this so now we have these two components here right and as we can see that uh, this this ab force will this ab member will be in tension right so if uh, if this de member is applying the force on this daf in this direction so what will happen is that uh, this ab member will be the this daf member will apply the force on this ab member in this direction right and similarly this uh, cbg member will apply the force on this ab member in this direction right and as a reaction this ab member will apply the opposite force on this daf member right so it will apply the same the uh, force in this direction at this point a so let me represent that force right so let's say that this is that uh, f e b force right and here at this point f uh, this great uh, due to its weight it will apply the force at this point f in the downwards direction so is a reaction uh, this daf member will apply the force in the upward direction right so we will have that uh, uh, force which is acting in this direction so let's say this is f of y right and similarly uh, this sharp edge will apply the force on this crate in this direction so as a reaction this crate will apply the force in the opposite direction at this point f so we will have uh, f of x force in this direction right and this is our uh, positive x and y direction remember right so now if we consider uh, this member this is that point a so if we consider this d a f member for our analysis right so if i apply the summation of moment about point f equals to zero so if i apply the summation of moment about point f equals to zero we are required to find this f a b right so if we apply the summation of uh, moment about point f equals to zero so we will get this f a b right so now as we can see that this dx is producing the counterclockwise moment about that point f so i will write uh, 2943 and the perpendicular distance of this dx from that point f is 600 plus 720 right so if i draw that dx force here right so this is that dx force and here we have that dy force so the perpendicular distance of this dx force uh, this ds component from that point f is 600 plus 720 so i will multiply this with 600 plus 720 and similarly this dy force this dy component is also producing the counterclockwise moment about that point f so i will write plus and dy magnitude is 1962 
and the perpendicular distance of this dy from that point f is let me uh, represent that distance here right so if i draw a vertical line here so the perpendicular distance of this uh, dy component from that point uh, f is this much distance let me represent this this distance right so this distance is equal to this 540 plus uh, half of this uh, crate length right so if i if i draw a symmetry line here right so this is 540 plus this the half of this 900 mm right so i will write that this will be 540 plus 900 divided by 2 so this is 450 right so i will write that this is 450 and similarly as we can see that this fab is producing the clockwise moment about this point f so i will write minus f a b and the perpendicular distance of this f e b from that point f is this 720 mm distance so i will multiply this with 720 and this will be equal to zero we can bring this f a b terms to the other side of equation so we will have this equation like this so we can find it uh, f a b now so this is 2943 into uh, 600 plus 720 plus 1962 divided by that 720 right so i will multiply divide this by 720 so that fab force is equal to 8093 newtons right so fab the force in that uh, ab link is equal to 8093 newtons So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope you people would have understood uh, this problem solution.